Hello, my lovely Sages, and a very warm welcome to your December 2023 horoscope birthday forecast. Happy, happy birthday to you, lovely Sages. Now, the significant thing about this month is that Mercury, the planet ruling communications, travel, technology, goes retrograde on the 13th of the month and stays retrograde just into the new year. So you may find that things begin to move more slowly. In fact, you may even feel as though they're going into reverse rather than forward motion. So make your plans flexible. Give yourself and others plenty of space to change their minds. People's thinking processes are not as quick. And especially as it's holiday time for many, they're even slower still. But what you can do that will be very constructive, because it will retrograde from Capricorn and then into your sign, Sagittarius, later in the month, is begin to reflect, to reassess your life. It's an opportunity for some relaxation, for some rest, time out. On the second of the month, Mercury is still moving forwards and comes to join the energy of Pluto in your second house. So this is a really powerful energy of looking at your finances in a deeper way. Maybe there are things to be reorganized, reassessed, confirmed, papers need to be dealt with. It's an opportunity here as well to look at your gifts and your talents and to dig a little deeper than you might have been doing recently. You might come up with some gems and some treasures that are worth pursuing. Now on the fifth of the month, Venus coming into your 12th house. Venus is very happy in the 12th house. Venus is exalted in the sign of Pisces, so the 12th house ruled by Pisces here. And this is a lovely energy of enjoying being in solitude, maybe in nature, by water, studying the esoteric, the metaphysical, which you love anyway, but go, allowing yourself to go more deeply into it, maybe astrology, tarot, crystals, channeling, activating your psychic intuitive abilities, all of this, this Venus retrograde, this Venus in the 12th house is really a lovely energy. And it can also bring people or persons from your past back into your life. They may come back in a dream, they may come back physically, but some a nice experience around that. On the 12th of the month, we've got a new moon happening here in your first house, in your sign. So we've got Mars in your sign all month the sun much of the month and the new moon on the 12th. And Mercury goes retrograde on the 13th, but let's just focus up to the 12th now. And you've got this energy of Mars in your first house. So keep moving forward, Sagittarius. Don't give up, even if things are going a little slow, do work on the sidelines, do other things, but keep moving forwards. It's a month to get your physical body in shape. This Mars energy really encourages you to move your body. And if you can't move much physically, then do it mentally. See yourself moving, see yourself exercising. Studies have been done where people are actually lifting the weights and people are visualizing that they're lifting the weights every day. And there was very little difference in the results between those who had actually done it and those who had visualized it. So you can do that and you're very good at that, lovely Sanchez. So the new moon is new beginnings for you, a new you coming forth, new possibilities, new opportunities. And very much about you creating them. Mars in your sign, you're the one that says, right, this is what I'd like. And off you go. So on the 13th, Mercury going retrograde initially. Uh, I've already mentioned a lot about that. On the 22nd, the sun comes into your second house shining a light on your finances, an opportunity to uh, make some positive adjustments and changes here. On the 24th, Mercury then goes retrograde into your first house. 
and you might just begin to reevaluate your life. It's a great time. It's the end of the year, New Year starting, birthday time. What are your aspirations? What are you reaching for? Sag is always reaching for something further and wider. What do you want to learn? What do you want to study? What do you want to share? What do you want to teach? These are all questions to really cogitate and think about. And you may be amazed if you're willing to go into inside at some of the amazing answers you're going to get. So it'll be very powerful. Now, on the 27th, got a full moon here in your eighth house. And this is just, once again, encouraging you to go deep. Yes, to maybe do some research. There may be some financial shifts and changes that you might need to take notice of. And it's an opportunity to slough off an old skin and to rebirth a brand new you. On the 30th, Woohoo! Venus comes into your sign. Well, you've got such a lovely party of energies here. Venus in your sign brings popularity, can bring a relationship if that's what you're looking for. But I wouldn't go too serious until, let's say, the middle of January. Let's let Mercury get out of his retrograde, especially as he'll be in your sign. Um, but it's lovely. It makes you popular. It brings peace and harmony into your relationships. And it also encourages you to do something nice for yourself. So I wish you a wonderful month, a very happy new year and happy birthday. And let's see from the Pleiadian Oracle deck, what is your birthday card and month card? Let's have two. One, two. Right. So one is sacred spaces. So it's this, about this going within and creating that sacred feeling inside, maybe going into nature, because nature is very sacred, maybe creating a sacred place in your home. And this one, which is definitely pertinent to Sages, you are vast beyond belief. Now there's your birthday message lovely sages remember look 360 degrees not just this little bit that you look wider further there are more opportunities and possibilities of the unlimited nature of you that are just waiting for you to explore wishing you a wonderful new year much love bye for now